Hi guys, Andy from Vivid Ink Tattoo Studios and today we're going to be talking about cover-up tattoos. Okay, so a cover-up tattoo is a tattoo that is used to conceal another tattoo. So let's say, for example, you have a really old tattoo, uh, a tattoo you no longer like, or a tattoo which wasn't done to the standard you wanted, then it may be a good idea to have it covered with a new piece. There are a few parts to this. One of the main things is making sure that the design is functional and works well as a cover-up. There is absolutely nothing good about a tattoo which maybe looks good on paper or on a computer screen, but when transferred to the skin, you can still see the original tattoo through the new piece. Another thing is it's impossible to cover a dark tattoo with a light color. So let's say you've got a solid black name of an X and you want to cover it with a bright yellow rose. Unfortunately, this would be impossible. Let's break it down this way. Let's say you have a piece of paper and you wrote the name on the paper with a black Sharpie. Now let's take that same piece of paper and on top of the name, get a yellow crayon and try and draw a rose. What will happen? The name would still show through the yellow rose and it's very, very similar with tattoos. Darker colors and pigments will always show through lighter colors. Existing tattoos will probably need to be hidden in darker areas of the new tattoo and sit next to lighter focal pieces to take the eye's attention away from the cover-up. As you can see in these images, the area where the tattoo is hidden is in the darker parts of the image and the real feature elements, you know, the bits that get all the attention, you know, such as the turntable needle, are sitting away from the cover-up. Another important point relating to this is that cover-up tattoos normally need to be bigger than the original tattoo. As I just highlighted, a cover-up will need to hide the existing tattoo within the new tattoo, most likely in a darker section. Now, what makes tattoos look great is contrast, so darker areas should sit next to lighter areas to create depth and detail. So if your whole tattoo is, say, palm-sized, then to cover that area with a darker element, you would need at least the same size again to put the new image to take the attention away. As a general rule for cover-ups, the bigger the better. Colour tattoos and opaque greys work better than standard black and grey. Now, many black and grey cover-up tattoos are done with opaque grey. Basically, what this means is the artist will use black ink and white ink and mix them together to create a grey colour. This is opposed to mixing black ink with water, where the water essentially thins down the black ink and makes it more transparent and therefore grey. Now, with a cover-up, any colour which is darker than the watered down grey colour would show through. But with a mixture of black ink and white ink, you can actually create a grey colour which is more solid and artists then use this colour to essentially go over the top of darker tones. These images all involve what's called opaque grey. So they take on the black and grey kind of vibe but they're actually grey ink tattoos. Another thing to consider is not every tattoo is coverable without laser and actually attempting a cover-up could potentially make things worse. Let's take a hypothetical situation and let's say you have a tattoo you're not happy with and it's really dark and the piece is on your neck. Let's say, in addition, you already have some really nice tattoos all around the area, so space to cover it up is limited. In that situation, we would need to lighten the tattoo in order to open up your options for a cover-up that wasn't essentially just a black tattoo. The other thing to note is that you might be thinking, well, anything is better than what I currently have, and it may seem that way at the time, but rushing into a cover-up of this kind might leave you with a tattoo that you actually dislike even more. And then, if you want to remove that tattoo, it would be way harder than removing the original or lightening the original tattoo. We made a great video about laser removal. I'll leave a link in the description below. Tattoos always look better on fresh skin. It's just a simple fact. You know, the artist doesn't need to compromise on the design and he doesn't have to worry about making sure it works great as a cover-up first and foremost. Now, I'm not saying cover-ups can't be amazing tattoos. They absolutely can, but I'm just mentioning it to make sure that expectations are managed. If you have a full sleeve of tribal, for example, and you want a realistic sleeve and no laser, your options versus the same sleeve without any existing tattoos are always going to be lower. Lastly, find an expert, you know, someone who has great experience cover-ups because they will understand the outcome when the tattoo is all healed. It's no good the tattoo looking great on the day it's done, it needs to make sure it looks good for the years to come. And at Vivid Ink, we have loads of cover-up experts, so if you do have any unwanted tattoos, then feel free to get in touch. Hope that gives you some ideas on cover-up tattoos. We've made plenty of other informative videos, so if you want to check those out, please feel free to check out our channel. Catch you guys soon.